What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I got an update on the Michael Irvin situation, and I've got my own personal thoughts here on it. Um, I'm just back from working down on the Red Brick House. Man, every time we go down there for a couple of days, we get further and further along. I'm excited, man. We got the back corner of the last part of the house, which, you know, had rotten wood and stuff on there uh, done, and we got it sheathed uh, before we left and stuff. And next week, we'll be putting in some new windows and things. I, I couldn't be any more thrilled than I am right now about how it's going along. And if you're interested in that, uh, definitely check out my other channel, um, Joe Boo's Day Job, because we've got all the videos from when we first got the Red Brick House and how it's changing, and it is changing every single week. But with Michael Irving, okay, a couple of things here. Um, he has scored another big win, another big win in the case because, see, Marriott, uh, Marriott's in trouble. I'm going to go ahead and say, in my own personal opinion, Marriott is in trouble on this thing. So let, let's let's be clear here. We had originally the case, you know, the $100 million uh, lawsuit against Marriott in a Texas court. Marriott decided we can't get a fair trial there. We want to take it to federal court, thinking that they were going to get a more business friendly judge. Well, it turns out they got the wrong one because, you know, here come the judge, here come the judge. This judge, of course, actually presided over some of the Zeke Elliott cases, in which case, when the NFL was trying to prosecute him, he ended up withdrawing the suspensions until it got moved to another court. So, now, you've got this judge. This case seems to be like it's on steroids. This thing is fast. I mean, this thing is, is like Giovanni and Clowney running the 40. You know, just blowing your mind at how fast a defensive end is going at 4-6. That's the way this case is going. So the second judge, after yesterday, well, there's a couple of things here with Marriott. First of all, Marriott basically asked to throw the case out because, as they put it, each Marriott is independently owned. Yes, we're the parent company, but, you know, the Phoenix Renaissance is owned by that group of people. We just kind of oversee. We don't really have anything to do with it. And here was my question is, if that's the case, if the issue is only between Michael Irving and that hotel, then why is Michael Irving banned from all Marriott properties worldwide? Sounds like it's kind of, company-wide to me okay be that as it may they asked to have the case thrown out uh 15 page 15 page response right there okay then they go on to say that this is basically michael irvin trying to use the video to his own advantage okay as propaganda and that Michael Irving is only trying to expediate this case because he's trying to get onto coverage of the combine. So wait a minute, you mean because he wants to get back to his career and his life that, you know, he's wrong? That to me, you listen, you're the one that brought the case and brought this up, okay? Now, and so now I have, in, in my mind, if I'm Michael Irvin, I've done nothing wrong. I proclaim my innocence. I lost my job and my gig to no fault of my own, and I feel wrong. And if you feel wrong, you don't want to wait. You want to get back to being whole. So for Mary not to be so arrogant like he's in a hurry to get back to his job, of course he is. Now, Michael Irvin's not in the same position as most of us where, you know, if I'm not working, I'm not getting a check this week, I can't pay my bills to feed my family. He's probably better off than most people, but most people want to get back to their careers and their life before this all happened. So how the world Marriott thinks that, oh, he's just trying to hurry this thing. Yes, he's trying to hurry this thing up, and I would too. Just most people don't get cases going this quickly. Okay, so now the second judge has actually ruled. So this is another big W, W, for Michael Irvin. 
A second judge, this time the federal one, has ruled the hotel giant must turn over any video that shows the NFL legend with his misconduct accuser on one of the properties last month. The ruling was handed down Wednesday afternoon, making the second time in two weeks the court has ordered Marriott to turn over the footage. Initially, a state judge made the ruling, but Marriott argued it should be allowed to take its time in handing over the clips, essentially saying Michael Irvin's being um, disingenuous about the need to rush things. The case ultimately kicked over to a federal court to, to, to meet it out. Right. So, well, M- Michael Irvin, you're being disingenuous because you want to get back to your life. Oh, you know, what, you know, what, what's your hurry? You screwed me over with my career, my name and my livelihood. You damn right. I want to get back to my life. Okay. Forgive me. I, I feel passionate about this because I feel somebody has been wrong. The judge there through back back to the second judge back the ruling saying Irvin has the right to obtain the video in an expeditious expeditious manner because his reputation and economy damage he has suffered by not having it just what I said I want to get my life back the judge did rule however that Marriott can protect the identity of the accuser saying the company's concern for privacy is well founded Irvin's attorney, Levi McLaren, tells TMZ he's happy with the new order, saying once again he believes the video will show Irvin did nothing wrong when he interacted with the female hotel worker um, on February 5th in Arizona. Michael and I are pleased with the ruling, and we thank the court for ruling so quickly and equitably. We look forward to receiving the information we believe will prove Michael was engaged in no wrongdoing. According to the new order, Marriott has until March 7th, next Tuesday, to turn over the footage. By the way, the same day that uh, franchise tagging ends. Okay, now another little interesting thing here. Tadman, um, I had somebody call me out and say, the tape shows nothing because there's no audio. Okay, if that is the case... So let's back this up for a second here. Here is why six days ago I said that Marriott will end up settling this thing out of court. At some point, Marriott is going to write a check with a non-disclosure agreement to Michael Irving, and you're going to see this thing just go away. If there is, in fact, no audio to this tape, that's why Marriott doesn't want to turn the tape over. The only hope that they would have is, because, now mind you, here's what we've heard thus far. We have three witnesses on Michael Irvin's side, and we have Jane Doe on the other side, and Marriott with a video. The three witnesses say Michael Irvin did not touch her. The conversation lasted 45 seconds. So... Let's back this up for a second. Marriott listens to their employee who said Michael Irvin did whatever. They go to Michael Irvin to his room and say, you need to leave the premises. We have you on tape. You have no audio, so you don't have anything that he could have said to her. And according to the witnesses, there was no contact between the two of them. Now, let's say worst case scenario. Let's say she said something to Michael Irving and Michael Irving said something, you know, distasteful in the 45 seconds. You know how much distasteful stuff gets thrown at me on a regular basis every day? I get called the N word, the thief and this, that and the other. In this day and age where everybody is literally guns a-blazing with their mouths, even if Michael Irvin said something, is that enough for him to lose his job from ESPN and NFL Network? To be barred from any hotel in the Marriott family worldwide? 
There is nothing that I think that he could say without actually touching her that would demand that. And Marriott is sweating now because they don't have any audio of anything that could have happened. And if it had gotten to be ugly, if it had gotten to be ugly, because like, let's say, let's say we are looking at the tape. Now, we don't know if the tape is looking at Michael Irvin. We don't know if the tape's looking, you know, at the back of Michael Irvin and the woman and stuff. If Michael Irvin said something that was like really off kilter, you would see at least a shock. Like, I can't believe you said that or something, some mannerism that would say, this ain't right. You would see fear in their face. If he's saying that I'm gonna do blah, blah, blah to you, you would see some kind of body language. Apparently there can't be any because Marriott, the only thing that they have that can save their ass would be a tape showing Michael Irvin did something because this is beyond just he said, she said. Because we got she said, he said, and three other people with Michael Irvin said. Yes, Marriott's in trouble in this one. That's my personal opinion, and in, in just from what we have here. And if there is no audio in here, uh, then, then Marriott's got nothing. Marriott has absolutely nothing. All right, good people. I'm going to get back into getting everything together because we got Mike McCarthy, and he's talking uh, like uh, he's throwing – throwing um kellen moore under the bus and things and so i got yes 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 well in, in one of those nice ways it's kind of like one of those things when people say i mean no offense and they automatically offend you yeah so i i've got to get the whole story together on that one all right good people i appreciate you if you like what you see here we're we're actually now i need to get a red x here on february because countdown to football we're already into march um by all means hit the like button and subscribe to the channel peace